Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, I'm sure as most of you know, at the end of this month in Forza Horizon 5, Series 31 will go live and the theme for the upcoming update will be European Automotive. Now, whenever there's an upcoming update in Horizon 5, we're often curious as to what cars Playground Games might introduce. Will we see a new to Forza car each week like the current Lunar New Year update or will some weeks be filled with returning cars from previous titles? As of right now, nobody other than the developers at Playground Games know this information, but there are certainly some things we do know for sure, as well as even more teasers as to what cars we can expect next for the European Automotive Update. So let's first begin with something that we do know for sure and that is for Series 31 they will be dropping yet another car pack. We know this because if we head over to Forza's official blog post for Series 30 right at the very bottom where it teases what's next it reads we travel back to across the Atlantic in European automotive new reward cars from the greatest car makers on the planet along with a brand new car pack to drive and collect. Now assuming that Horizon 5 follows the same pattern with majority of the car packs they've introduced since June of 2023. We're probably going to see four new to Forza cars again, but this time it will be themed around European cars. A bit like the Chinese Lucky Stars car pack we got this month, which by the way, again, thanks to the guys over at Playground Games, they have given me three more codes to give away for the Xbox. For a chance to win, simply like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also comment down below which car you are most looking forward to driving from the latest car pack as well as your Xbox gamer tag and the winners will be announced on my channel within the next 48 hours. So good luck to everyone. Now, although it's near impossible to correctly guess what cars we can expect to see in the new upcoming car pack, there has been leaks and now even subtle clues as to what cars we might see for Series 31 as a whole. I'm sure a lot of you watching have heard of the Maserati MC20 leaks circling around many websites and social media platforms. If you haven't, I'll quickly give you guys a run through. Basically, back in August of 2023, a huge list of cars was discovered within the hidden folders of Horizon 5 after a series update. The list contained many cars that have now been introduced into Horizon 5, which suggests that these leaks are indeed credible, and one of the cars from the list was none other than the Maserati MC20. On top of that, a logo of an aftermarket body kit brand that only makes wide body kits for the MC20, known as Seven House Designs, was also found within the hidden folders as well as the car briefly appearing in Forza Motorsports promotional career series poster before it was quickly replaced. So you can see why Horizon 5 players are eagerly awaiting the arrival for the MC20 in Series 31 as it fits perfectly with the European automotive theme. Now, if those leaks weren't convincing enough, over on Instagram, Forza Horizon 5 posted this image for Valentine's Day. Now, at first glance, it seems like this doesn't really mean much, it just looks like two Maseratis leaving tire marks in the shape of a love heart. However, if we look at what Maserati posted on the exact same day, a similar image but this time an MC20 was essentially doing the exact same thing. Forza Horizon themselves even commented on the post saying great minds with a love heart. To me, I think this is a very subtle hint that we are indeed going to get the Maserati MC20 for Series 31. I mean, all the stars align for it to be introduced, and even the comments in both of the posts have people saying the exact same thing. Now, speaking of Instagram, the other day I had this image sent to me over in my DMs, and it shows an in-game thumbnail of the Maserati MC20 in the car selection screen in Forza Horizon 5. Now, now, as someone who has seen many fake leaks of Horizon content in the past, 
as good as this thumbnail is, and it's incredibly convincing, I'm sure those who have come across this may have even believed that it was real. However, unfortunately, it isn't. After a bit of investigation, it turns out this image was first posted on the Forza official suggestion hub, and the original user has been posting mock-up thumbnails for other highly requested cars using the exact same template. So, although we wish the clues for the MC20 were this this concrete, as of right now, we're gonna have to go with the two Instagram posts from Valentine's Day. So I want to change the focus to other cars now. Recently, there's also been another leak that might actually be overlooked and that's with Forza Motorsport. Now, similar to the leaks with Horizon 5, several logos of new car brands that aren't actually in Forza Motorsport right now, were discovered within the hidden folders. The brands include The Large, if that's how you pronounce it, Venturi, which are both French automakers, and even Sweden's Polster was found too. Now, again, I know these leaks are directly linked to Forza Motorsport, but with so many new to Forza cars now being shared between Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport, I wouldn't be surprised to see any of these new car brands appear in Update 31 as well. If I have to be honest, if we do see any of these leaked motorsport car manufacturers in the next update, I can easily see Polster being featured. Why? Because their current catalogue of cars consists of electric vehicles. The Polster 2, 3 and 4 all look like vehicles Playground Games have been introducing as of late. Hopefully that won't be the case as most of these cars really feel the same at least in Forza Horizon 5. The Large have an incredible car known as the D12 which is apparently dubbed as a street legal F1 hypercar that houses a 7.6 litre V12 engine and an electric motor producing 1085 brake horsepower. I mean if we got the Wawa R, the C21 in previous car packs, I don't see why something like this wouldn't be a possibility either. And lastly, I know I often don't talk much about recycled cars or returning cars, but based on the comments of my last Forza Horizon 5 video, a lot of you had two European cars that you would like to see return from Forza Horizon 4. The first is the Volkswagen IDR, which I'm quite surprised is still not in Horizon 5, and the other is the Renault Clio V6, a nice punchy hot hatch that would be a fun car to drive around. Mexico. But anyways, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think the post from Maserati and Forza Horizon over on Instagram was a direct tease for the MC20 to be introduced in Update 31? And also, do you think any of the Forza Motorsport hidden car manufacturers will also appear in the European Automotive Update? Share us your thoughts down in the comment section below as I do read all of your comments, guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out and of course if you guys would like to stay up to date with everything Forza related be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.